Do you want to raise your hand, Anna? <laughs> Anna? Anna has been to how many 10th shows? This will be the 28th. This will be her 28th 10th Avenue North concert. I'm like, how are you not sick of us yet? Um, and how many Hawk Nelson shows have you seen? This will be number eight. Number eight, yeah. And um, what you need to know about Anna here is she's kind of a hero. So last month we played a concert. Can I share this? Yeah. Are you cool? Um, and there was a girl who wrote on our Facebook wall about how she'd come to the concert really struggling with depression. Thanks so much for the concert. And then she kind of just said something at the end that was a little cryptic. And I, I read it and didn't even think twice about it. But Anna here recognized it, um, having gone through some struggles with depression herself and seeing God really rescue her from some of these things. She recognized this girl's little line at the end is a cry for help. So she went on her Facebook, found one of her friends, emailed one of her friends, who goes to her house and finds that she had OD'd, picks her up off the floor, takes her to the hospital, and her life gets saved because Anna recognized it on a face. So can you guys give Anna another round? Yeah. Boom! So, one of Anna's favorite songs is a song that John and I wrote on, not the current Hawk Nelson record, but the one do you want to set it up? Yeah, I mean, so we, I mean, we had been talking a lot about, like, I mean, and this ties into what you just said, actually, because, I mean, so many times we feel like we have to have everything figured out, and, and I know that, I mean, everyone in this room, if we're honest with ourselves, we wrestle, we have doubt. I mean, like, we talk about faith, and it's, you know, the Bible says, faith is the assurance of things unseen, which means this is something we don't see in front of us, so, like, if we're honest with ourselves, we're always going to wrestle. We're always going to have doubt. And maybe that the relationship with God is in the wrestling, you know? Like, so that's what, uh, that's what this song is all about. And it's called Through the Fire. So. Do you need a seat? No. It's old school people used to do this. It's a little quieter, so you have to really lean in here. So. I can feel the sun before I see its light. I can see my breath in the air on a cold night. But I can't see your face or hear your voice right now. All I hear is pain. It's the only sound. Why does it hurt?
You guys are going to love tonight. You're going to love I Am They. Um, we got a couple more minutes just to do a little bit of Q&A. So um, maybe just throw your hand up, anything you'd like to know about us. I'll say a couple things really quick. 10th Avenue North was the name of the street we lived on in college. Um, we started in college. We were worship leaders at a church for several years. Started doing youth camps and conferences, and it kind of led into this. Um, and let's see, what else do we always get asked? Uh, we all got saved at a young age in the church. Um, and then sort of like it got more real to us as we've walked along and um, yeah and we all have different favorite Bible verses that we can tell you if that's something you want to know so uh, if you have a question just throw your hand up and do you want to call on the hands yeah I do 